in a Lamborghini. A pig in a Lamborghini and send it to town. And the Lamborghini come back to still come back with a pig. Nothing is going to change. So that means if we put a worthless person in a poro shed, <laughs> you are still worthless and useless. If I'm speaking to you, just look down, it's fine. <laughs> Can I repeat that? Yes. If you put a worthless and a useless person in a Polo shirt or in a BMW, they are still useless and worthless. So maybe instead of buying so many expensive things that are putting us into debt, we need to increase our value as human being. Who are you when we remove all these things from you? As an individual, who are you? And then maybe when you increase your value, your bank account also increases. So it's something to think about. So some of us are not sleeping, are in trouble with our family members because we were supposed to support and now we cannot support because we have been consumed up. Some of us are not talking to our friends because we have borrowed money from them and now we have the inability to return the money. When end of the month comes, instead of paying your friends money, you are running to the shop first because now you need to be seen that you have an expensive something on. But you are not paying this. And uh, there's a statement that I wrote in. I said, it's easier to borrow money. It's very difficult to retain money. Very easy to say, give me a 500 ho ho. <laughs> Mara, to retain that 500, it's a hassle. So if you want to be healthy, make sure that your bank account is also healthy. Be humble. It's fine. If you don't have, it's fine. Work hard to have. Me, I tell people, it's fine. If you want to come visit me and you are coming from train coupe and I'm somewhere there with my car room behind, if you are uncomfortable, that's your problem. I'm not going to put pressure on myself and then pressure on my bank account just for other people. And I make this joke because I'm visiting a lot of people nowadays and most of them have the white sofas in. So it's fine not to have the white sofas. And also the other, um, maybe proceeding into the next one is that the emotional dustbin. You see, I'm using this concept and they are crazy concept. We all have dustbins in our house and in our yards, isn't it? If we don't empty them, they will smell. In fact, as we are here now, somebody is throwing trash in those dustbins. Municipality Tuesday, Wednesday, they come and empty them because we know they are not good for our health. It's the same, we have the emotional dustbin inside us that we have covered up with expensive clothes. And we cannot see up until you start bleeding on other people because you yourself, you are hurting. By the robots, fuck you. <laughs> Those are hating people. Because if you know it's a human being for somebody to cross or to be late so that they are going to drive unnecessary, why, why must you, you ma, mm, 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 for who? If you know you are at peace with your heart. So every single day, somebody is throwing trash in your heart. And it's your responsibility, not municipality's responsibility, to come and clean it. And obviously, those things now um, goes on and on. I don't want to take so much time. Um, there is also issues of trust. Now, <laughs> I, 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 I kind of deceived people a little bit eh, with this book. Because people don't want to talk about their emotions. People don't want to talk about the issue of father figures. People don't want to talk about issues of trust. 
they don't want even when they are talking about it it's shallow it's, it's not going deeper so i deceived people a little bit they think maybe they are going to find how to start a business how to what what no you are going to find the issues that you don't want to talk about issues that are affecting us each and every single day so issues of trust i'm seeing people who for example this is where now i'll get a bit deeper um, people who have passwords on their phones but their partners cannot access their the password because they have trust issues now imagine né? you can close your eyes if possible what is in your phone né? that your partner cannot access that is not on your body you sleep naked the entire night next to this person you give them your all but just to enter your phone it's a problem <laughs> but you literally had given them everything that helps you to get that phone <laughs> it's, it's fine job i said if i'm not going to attack you i'll provoke you so such re responses <laughs> such responses are welcomed so what i'm saying what i'm literally saying is that and i also the the song it, it's a hit song you can love them all but trust no one it's for me it's practically impossible to love a person that you don't trust <laughs> <laughs> so in the book I'm also discussing the issue um, of what of broken trust and I'm 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 help I'm trying to help people to provoke your thoughts that some of the thinking that we have could be expired and need to, re to be renewed in order for us at least to move a step further Some of us are unable to find love because we still have trust issues I cannot and then then all many stories So just think about it. Should you rather then not trust a person with this being? Because what if it's a snake? <laughs> eh? Issues are happening in this community so far. Maybe you're sleeping next to a snake, but you trusted a cobra to sleep next to you, but when it's getting to your phone, it's jumping up and down some of the relationship are like cat and mouse just to make sure that i get to the phone first before you um let me touch on the on the last two um things then we can move into another uh, situation there is also an issue of volunteerism uh, i'm not so sure how you're going to take this but that's entirely up to you i have been a volunteer in my life um since 2009 up to now institutions that says we cannot pay you I'll be like nah it's okay I'm coming to do it for free because there's always I, I knew what I need is a platform if I can get the platform I can get the money somewhere or I can still use your platform to get the money so there's this issue of uh, I have put it in because it's so so close to my heart that the students the unemployed if you for example if you look at the students they probably have the most expensive phones than the people who are working they finish school varsity they are unemployed instead they had used the money that they bought the phone for taxi money so that they can go to an accounting firm volunteer gain experience and maybe somebody die or somebody resign and then people know the person <laughs> and then the person they already know you and they employ you directly but what are they doing they are watching game of thrones they are doing all the the other things so there are four concepts again that I'm discussing there there is issue of you are gaining experience you network you grow and then you get exposure for me as I've been a volunteer to the point I wrote this book those are four things that really came out for me that you know what you are not losing anything but volunteerism can go either way there are people who are miserable in their 8 to 5 jobs but they love to play with kids 
So then what do you do on Saturday and Sunday? You go to church or you go to a kindergarten and volunteer your services there because that's where you get your happiness from. But then there's the issue of also unemployed. People are buying bread for you. They are buying meat. No sila. Mara, you are still at home sleeping. For who? Walk to the nearest shop and say, I'm here. I don't have anything to do at home. And like what I said, really, just in case, you're already in the system. And people also can say, oh, we have a hardworking young person here. Maybe you can take them. So the issue of volunteerism is also very, very close to my heart. And I, I hope we can encourage the people who are behind us to say, please do not sit at home when you are coming from work. If you are a student doing education, start already the process. By the time you have finished your four years, that means you have four years experience. These people, these guys are fighting a good fight. But probably it's also going to take long. We need to fight from both sides, both angles. We cannot now sit and say, oh, <laughs> Choban Panda, <laughs> when is the fight going to finish, my brother? You have right to us. Let, let him do it there. Who is going to do it here and here and here and here? That when the fight is done, it spills over and the process is easier for all of us. So let's encourage young students, people who are unemployed, to start doing something even if they are not getting money because money is not the only payment. And sometimes we block our blessings that we've been praying for because we are still sleeping. Nobody's going to come at your house and knock and say, oh, my, my sister, you need a job. Nobody's going to do that. And then the last one is obviously, uh, I've been challenged in my life not to speak about father figures because I'm not a father. And also I've been challenged not to talk about relationships. Because, yeah. <laughs> In, in, in both books, the first book I talk, I spoke about relationships. The second book I spoke about father figures. And I'm always smart about things. I do not want to sit and I'm like, yeah, but I'm an uncle. I'm a what, what? No. The father figure issue, I came out gun brazing. I said, so how, how, how do I solidate my argument? So I went to do research. So we did research for people who grew up without fathers because I feel we're just talking about the father figure issue without really understanding the complexity of it, the depth and the pain that people are feeling that are growing up without fathers. So I did research also for the people who are parenting without fathers. Yes, you might tell me that, um, why did you not do a research on guys, because this one is based on women, on guys who are parenting with, without the mother. And I also realized it's not really much of the case. And also, if that's the case, then I have left room for somebody to explore. So those case studies are very, very painful. Um, there's a case study, for example, of a young lady who came from the north to go to a tertiary institution. When she got in Okahanja, the father is not involved. When she got in Okahanja, um, the, pe the person who she, who she was coming to said, apparently, your space is no longer available. She was in Okahanja, first time coming to Venduk. The mother doesn't even know the entrance of... Yes. So imagine what's next for this person. And this is a person who have hopes and dreams for their life. So now she has to come to the service station, sit there to wait for the poor mother, and. And I, I, I hope if you have a mother who is in a village, I think sometimes we need to take time and kick ourselves. Because those people go through a lot for us to be where we are now, wearing jackets and everything. And now we can't even send bread to them. That's bread. They have gone through a lot. So she had to wait for the mother to sort out all those things, and eventually she get put in the house. Just imagine the emotions and everything else and everything else that goes through that process. But also, the interesting part is that these issues are caused by immaturity and selfishness of adults. 
and the poor decision making of adults. And in the end, they are affecting children deeply. Just one night of having sexual, unprotected sexual activity. <laughs> Child is born, father is not interested anymore, they run away. And guess what happens next? They are fighting now each other. Forgetting that their domestic relationship will never end. It will be there for the rest of their life. So that immaturity and that selfishness is affecting many, many, many of our young people nowadays. And if for your own information, most of the mothers nowadays are parenting their own kids. While I need, I just need to know that I'm safe. Eh? There's no crowd that side, ne? and that side, so that I know, because here I cannot escape. Um, we have the quotas and the boss getting my drift, and the chefy. We are celebrating them because they are driving expensive cars, celebrating them because they can. They are the ones who are buying all the nice things there where we are chilling. But guess what? These cowards are not parenting their children. When they come gun brazing and thinking they are hot, we need to whisper to them, can you please go and parent your child? <laughs> it's, they are our friends. So we have that responsibility. Because you don't want one day Another person is writing a case study for Otto's book and they are still complaining about father figure. And we are on Facebook, yeah, some of these mothers, the, uh, the, what the Father's Day was most on Sunday. Yeah, some of them are just marathon, what, what. Some of them are buying you alcohol and you are enjoying it. But they are not parenting their kids. And you are not reminding them of the responsibility, but also the fact that we have lost morals and values and principles in our society that people can just impregnate each other. The parents don't even know. So poor, done. Guess what? It's the child that is suffering. Not the two. So it's caught up in the web of fights. Maybe we need to get back to the drawing board. Thank you. <laughs>